Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. This video, I would like to talk a little bit about momentum trading. This comes in response to a viewer asking, what exactly does it mean to momentum trade? So I thought I would take a look at momentum trading by using the example of Snap Incorporated. As you guys know, or may not know, Snap recently had an IPO or initial public offering just a few months ago. Uh, first starting off at $24 and then jumping up to $27 before plummeting back down to $19 or so and currently trading at $19.29. And when the initial public offering happened, the momentum really drove up the stock. So momentum trading is simply trading a stock that is moving with a pretty large percentage rate either up or down. In this particular example, the price of the stock moved up and then it moved down quite dramatically. So you can't short on Robinhood, unfortunately, so you can't really benefit from the big fall in the stock price, but you can definitely buy and wait until the stock peaks up. So a lot of traders on Robinhood uh, bought in early and then sold off on the peak, but also when the stock drops, you can also do some shorting as well, buying a stock or essentially, essentially borrowing a stock from your broker and then buying back at a lower price and that price difference is what you pocket. Unfortunately on Robinhood currently we can't do that so I'm not going to talk about shorting the stock but anytime you have a large volume uh, which essentially happened during the initial public offering with Snap either movement up or down you can make a lot of money. A large percentage up or down you can make a lot of money. So that's really what momentum trading is all about. Having a stock that may be in the news, maybe having a, a special event like this stock here, initial public offering for a stock that had some anticipation building up. So there's a lot of momentum, a lot of trading volume initially, which drove the stock up and then with the sell off drove the stock down. So both on the upswing as well as pullback, traders can make money. And that's all uh, about momentum there. Momentum trading is really the quintessential type of day trading. A lot of investors simply hold the stock for maybe a few minutes, a few hours. Uh, some even hold it for maybe a day or so, but it's really bought and sold off very quickly. Uh, like I said, quintessential day trading. And a lot of the time, uh, investors only hold the stock for a couple of minutes, uh, almost like scalping. Uh, really, it's a form of scalping. Uh, basically buying in, momentum brings it up, and then you sell off very quickly. And again, either as it swings up or as it pulls back, you can make money. Either traditionally just buying a share, waiting for it to uh, trend up, sell off, or you can borrow from the broker and short, and then when it drops down, you can buy it, and then the difference is what you will make in profit. So that's what momentum trading is all about. If we go back to dries as well, you can also see that here. When it started to trend up, a lot of momentum here, a lot of trading volume. That's another characteristic of a momentum trading. Typically, there's some um, news, either good or bad about a particular stock. The volume is definitely over average, two to three times the normal volume. And investors try to hold the stock just for a few minutes. As you can see here, this peak here only lasted a few days before coming back down and then initially uh, trending up and then coming down with uh, some uh, news about this particular stock and snap as well with the initial public offering a lot of anticipation surrounding the stock when it first became offered on the exchanges it moved up a lot of investors got in and out made some money and then while it pulled back as well you can also short the stock and make some money so that's what momentum trading is all about the special type of day trading quintessential type of day trading you only hold the stock for a few minutes and you really do this around uh, a particular stock that's in the news, it has a big event, special event, and the trading volume is typically very, very high for these particular stocks. So just wanted to quickly respond to the viewer about momentum trading, type of day trading, quintessential type of day trading. Hold the stock for a few minutes, and you really base your decision to buy the stock on a, a news report, special report, if it's in the uh, uh, news wire, basically. Uh, and that volume is very high. That's really what is uh, momentum trading. Uh, there's some special event that it basically is telling investors to either buy or sell the stock and investors try to take advantage of that. So just wanted to quickly talk about momentum trading. Uh, let me know if you guys have done any of this in the past. A lot of investors try to do this around earnings reports as well. It's a type of momentum trading. Uh, I've done a little bit of this in the past, but I don't do it a lot because it's very, very volatile as you can imagine. If you don't catch the peaks 
uh, before they start either coming back down, pulling back, or uh, trending back up if you're shorting, you can lose quite a bit of money. So very risky, but a very high reward type of trading. So kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.